Welcome to Warrenie's weekly wrap-up for week seven. My name is Julia and I'm the editor-in-chief. This week saw a large section of the ANU community walk out of class to protest against government inaction on climate change. The protesters first gathered in Canberra before walking across Civic to Glebe Park. The protest involved chanting, chalking and drumming. This protest comes in the wake of the Stop Adani protest in July and the climate die-in that occurred during ANU Open Day. ANUSA, the ANU Ethnocultural, Indigenous and International Students Departments, announced that they would be launching a campaign against casual racism in week 9 of this semester. The campaign will include a photo series that aims to share the stories, experiences and opinions of people of colour on the topic of casual racism on campus. In other news, the ACT government announced that from October 1st, Canberra will be one of an elite few cities on earth to be 100% powered by renewable energy. This week in tram news, it's been reported that London Circuit is to be raised as part of the proposed light rail extension. However, you won't be able to use your slightly higher London Circuit until 2024. The other big thing that happened this week is we saw the finales of both Australian Survivor and The Bachelor Australia. Now, I may have been watching too much reality TV, but I've got a little bit of a pitch. So, hi Channel 10, I know you're watching, big fan of Warrenie. Um, I think that there's a prime opportunity to do a crossover between Survivor and Bachelor. Because having seen both, I think that Survivor is a really good format and a good environment, but I don't think you've got enough crazy people on it to make for entertaining TV. So I think you've got to get the contestants from The Bachelor, and you've got to put them on Survivor, because they're even more psychopathic than the ones that are on Survivor. I know that Osh has been tweeting about it, so he supports my idea. It's not just what we need, but it's what we deserve. How do we reckon Matt Agnew would go on a Survivor? <laughs> I was just envisioning all the contestants. Oh, okay. Because, like, I mean, they're, they're catty, like, the Bachelor contestants are catty enough to each other when Matt is picking. What's it going to be like when they have to vote each other out? I just want to see what that would be like. Would there still be a Bachelor that they'd be fighting over? Do you think he would be one, also one of the contestants? What if they all banded together and then voted him out? Because like, you know, it's free game. Bachelor in Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's a really good idea. It is a good idea. I definitely see that happening. You'd need like wine and good food, good cheese platters to like... Well, they have, they have rewards Survivor. on Survivor. So like they starve them for most of the time. They just have rice and beans. But then there are reward challenges where if you win, you get like, you know, burgers or... Um, they have, you know, they have lots of different food rewards. They had a spa. Was it a reward for one of them? They really are very different shows, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> but they're the same. Awesome. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. Channel 10, I'm, I'm right here. Just give me a call. Mm.